Good evening. Welcome to the third installment of this year's Marjorie DuPont Lecture Series. I see by the size of the turnout that you're excited to meet tonight's guest. So let me dispense What are you talking about? He was arrested. For what? Drunk driving, resisting arrest, and I think disorderly conduct. You think? This thing's about 30 minutes old, Josh. We don't know exactly what happened. What do we know? Mendoza doesn't drink. He was arrested for drunk driving. Roberto Mendoza doesn't drink, Josh. How much does the press know? They don't know anything. The cops haven't leaked it? I swear to God, I don't think the cops know. They don't know that they've arrested Roberto Mendoza? They don't know it's that Roberto Mendoza. I got this thing now. I got a cab. The White House. I'll let you know what's going on. Stay ahead of the pitch scene and have Toby page me. I don't even know if this guy's called a lawyer. Is he sitting in a jail cell right now? <laughs> You're not there anymore, are you? I'm talking to no one at all right now. Came down to the beltway where he worked as floor manager for the House Minority Whip and Chief of Staff for Congressman Earl Brennan. After serving as senior political director for Jed Bartlett's presidential campaign, he was appointed Deputy White House Chief of Staff. Please welcome Joshua Lyman. Josh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice you. Thanks, David. It's Please good to see you. Yeah. Just slip that mic see on there. Here. Josh, you're here to tell us what it's like to work for the president. I'll do my best. What happened? It's not as bad as you think, CJ. Was the president's nominee for the Supreme Court just arrested for drunk driving? Yes. Then it's pretty bad, isn't it? Sure. I thought he doesn't drink. He doesn't drink. He was tonight. CJ, we vetted the man. I'm not saying he's not a heavy drinker. I'm saying he doesn't drink. Then what was he pulled over for? Driving while being Hispanic. Does Toby know? I stepped off the edge of the world. Yes. Where'd this happen? Wesley, Connecticut. Why do you refuse the breathalyzer? Because he's a crazy man who's out to ruin my life. Toby, that's what he's out to do. Has anyone posted bail? No. Why not? They can't find a judge. Why not? Not Cook County, Toby. It's Friday night in Wesley, Connecticut. Believe me when I tell you this, CJ, I will figure out a way to blame this on you. I have no doubt about that. Have someone find his lawyer and talk to him. Sam, there's an Air Force Learjet with its motor running. Fly to Westchester County Airport, rent a car, drive to Wesley, and get the next Associate Justice of the Supreme Court out of jail. CJ. Sam sees one reporter when he gets off that plane. I'm going to blame you. Toby's got you covered there. I'm going with Sam. Toby. Judge and I are going to have an abrupt conversation. I want my phone to ring once every 15 minutes. I want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. 